Hi guys, this is Yanni from Yanomize and welcome back to This Week at Yanomize, week 13. So this week, we headed over to Urban in Milton Keynes to check on our sister company, Nero. Go and have a look. Guys, I am at Urban Automotive and I'm with Simon, the owner. How you doing, guys? Um, you guys know I'm a massive fan of Urban, the company, the brand, the cars. And Simon is also my partner at Nero Design. And this is my Lamborghini Urus. Friday, Lamborghini, Monday, need a kit, yeah? Same the story. <laughs> it's funny, when you're the owner, you can squeeze the cars in. Um, so we've got the full kit on the floor, the full carbon kit that is made in-house. Um, Simon's actually going to show you what we've got going on in the car and we've actually added a few more components. That's right, yeah. No other Urus has got this at the moment. Nothing. First time, yeah, first time with some new parts. Okay, so what have we got? Right, so originally we had four components. We had the, the front splitter, the arches, the rear wing and a rear diffuser and that's how we started the program. Yep. Now we've added seven more parts, so we can go through those now if you like. Yeah, let's just show them what you get. So if you buy a Lamborghini Urus, this is how it comes standard. If you want to add the carbon kit, which to be honest, it's our best seller. It's our best seller, yeah. yeah we yeah. make it for Lamborghini Aventador S. Um, we also make it for Lamborghini Huracan. Huracan yeah. But the Nero, the kits fly off the shelf in the UK and abroad. Yeah, I think we've done in the region of 35 now. So it's a huge seller for us. Yeah. So we started with the front apron. This is uh, an overlay front apron. It slots in. Um, it carries over the, the design cues of the standard car. Slots in nice, gives you a more aggressive front end, so the undercut on the car basically comes slightly forward. So if we sort of lift that up and offer that up, you can see where that slots in. We won't push it in too far because we don't want to scratch the car. We've got two new parts that we've just added on. Um, a front eyebrow kit. You can see here the standard eyebrow just sits into the car slightly, whereas this one slots over. And then when you dip in from the top, you can see an extension of carbon on there as well. We've got some extra carbon here which is the tuning forks which when they add on they basically go on there so you'll have carbon 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 all the way down to the bottom then around the side of the car we've obviously got uh, the full arch which is an extended arch that comes out by about 15 to 20 mil on each side so when we put our Nero wheels on obviously they've got a wider offset which sits out on on the edge of the arch so it will sit flush they're, they're precision perfect when they go on the car so all of your shut lines are perfect along here when these bond on obviously the, the wheel will sit perfect with the arch just here then we've got our new vent overlay we've got the new side sill as well which basically carries on the design language of of, of here and when we put it up underneath the car you can see you get an extra sill underneath to lower the center of the car so that matches up with the height of the front splitter. It could pass over the side step, however, do not do step not on it. Want to step, step on it? Yeah. We've got the side door trims as well, which are a new addition. We obviously wrap these satin black or gloss black, yeah. however the customer wants it. But now we've got the carbon insert as well. Oh, we have got. Just so you know, we have got the carbon wing mirrors. They haven't arrived yet. We've also got our Nero emblems. Yeah, which slot into the side skirt and into the front apron as well. So you just got a bit of branding on there as well at the back. The back is, is where the power is. The problem with the Lamborghini Urus, it comes standard with a silver rear diffuser. Lamborghini don't, don't actually make a gloss black yeah. one. We don't even know why. If it came gloss black, you think, okay. But even then, the back still doesn't feel crazy enough when, you, when you're sitting behind this car and you look at it, but that. Yeah, so if we flip it over and we show everyone how, how much different it is. Obviously, this is a complete replacement rear diffuser. It takes the mesh from the car into here. But you can see the strakes on the rear are so much bolder that you know it, it makes it gives so much more of an impression from the rear the rear wing is a two-part component which bolts together the side profile of the car is really 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 strong coming down deep diffuser low front apron which completes you know the look of the car gives it something that it probably should have come out the factory with yeah Beep. <laughs> The only thing we are working on, which we haven't done yet, is the bonnet. Yeah. I really, I really want a bonnet. Um, some people might think it's overkill. I personally love a big, big bonnet. Uh, you see it on their G-Wagons, which obviously we'll show you today. You'll see right, it. Yeah. Like even with the SVRs now, we've got the carbon exposed bonnet with the two vents, the two grills. Obviously, you've got the 24 inch wheels. Yeah, just finishing off with the wheels, yeah. That are going on at the Vossens, and then it'll be wrapped. A uh, private plate will obviously go on as well. And then that'll be my toy. 
as everyone will probably say in the comments, for about one week. Yeah, that's right. Um, and then I'll sell it. And we've, all, we've obviously got one that we sort of made earlier. We've got one that's nearly ready for handover. It hasn't got all of the options that yours has got on it, but it is a finished Nero product. This is ready for handover this week. The wheels really make the car. Mine has got 23. That's like the biggest a Lamborghini make, and they still look good. However, look small compared to this. They do look small, even though they suit the car, but it's all about, for me, the 24 inch wheel. Um, the rolling radius is perfect as well, because we made sure we put the perfect tire on the car, so it doesn't affect the ride in any way. The profile's still very, very thick. Uh, usually when you put big wheels, especially on the Rolls Royce race, it feels like- You're, you're hard, yeah, yeah, really, really hard, yeah. This is still, it's still comfort, still drives, still drives amazing, and you can still feel the road just as well as you can with a standard wheel. Yeah, and just to boot, we've got a, another yellow one there. We're just waiting to put wheels on it. But anyway, so that's Lamborghini, that is Nero. Do you know what, I think we'll throw from here. Let's go to the Rat Bay. So this is the Nero Rat Bay. Um, yes, we have Yanomai's, but we set up Nero as a carbon company and obviously the wraps were so busy. Overflow, <laughs> just so busy, yeah. And it made perfect sense. Everyone keeps saying, where's Becky? Where's Becky? Where's Becky? Becky, what, what, this Becky? Becky, what, that Becky? Yes, she still works here. She might not work for Yanomai, but she works for Nero, which is pretty much the same thing. Yes, she is the winner of the rap job. Click here, you can see that. Becky, say hello. Hi. So you're still here? I'm still here. Not gone anywhere? Nope, not gone anywhere. You work for Milton Keynes now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you enjoy it here? Mm -hmm. Uh, what do you want to say? They, they want to know about Becky. They always want to know about you. Ah. They love you. They love you. They're like, where's Becky? Where's Becky? I promise you, every time I film the animals, they're like, where's Becky? Where's Becky? Where's Becky? I'm here. Same, same, but different. Still working the same standard, same vinyl, same cars, just different places. That's it. So there's Becky. So now you've seen her. She's still part of the Yanomites family, obviously with Nero and Urban. Also, Tev. We had to get rid of Tev. Tev left. Tev left the animals, but, but Tev is here as well. Tev, everyone yeah. loves Tev, look, there he is. So Tev obviously worked down at Yanomai's for a while as cover for us. Um, he's now had to come back up here for the time being while we're trying to hire staff. If you're a rapper, and I mean a serious rapper that's had three, four years experience, I always get the, the comments. I always, I always get the messages. I'm not a rapper, but I'm willing to learn. I'm a fast learner. I'm sorry, guys, I need someone with experience. Three, four, five years experience that's been rapping for a while. You can either work in London, or you can work in Milton Keynes, or you can cross over and work both. Um, but we're looking for rappers, aren't we? Yeah, if you're in our area, definitely, we definitely need another rapper. But anyway, this is the rap bay. Um, Elliot will obviously show you around, but you've seen Becky now, you've seen Tev, and you've seen the workshop. They're rapping, what's this, a new um, Defender? So new Defender, it's going green to green. Um, but matte, but matte military green, it's gonna have obviously all of our kit on as well, but yeah, it's going, it's going military green. There you go, but now, You've seen it, the Nero Rap Workshop. So what have we got here? We've got um, the G-Wagon and we've got an RSQ8. Talk to me about this. So this is one of our special runs. What we do every so often, we'll do like a one-on-one -on, -one on a car. Yep. It's our full wide track G, which is complete arch bumper, complete replacement. So everything you see down the side comes off and is replaced with our carbon parts. But this one's pretty special because what we've done, we've gone for a gloss and satin finish, which is like rare in the paint world. So we have to fine line this car and then lacquer one part in satin and then one part in gloss. Normally, when you finish with lacquer, obviously you have to lacquer over the yeah. whole part. So the complexity between making this and making these parts satin to contrast with the gloss paintwork is, is basically like a one of one, which is pretty special. So obviously what he's talking about is the carbon. The carbon is satin, the car's gloss, but the carbon. This is the same kit that I had on my G-Wagon. I'm even like it's the calipers. What is this, olive green? Yeah, so this is Dezinho olive green. We've done the calipers to match. Obviously these, these have come off completely. So you see a lot of people obviously paint calipers on the car. We, we'll take everything off so all of the components stay perfect as factory. Um, like I said, it's got our front bumper, wide arch, bull nose bonnet, high power light pod at the back. We've got our rear spoiler, seals, end caps, arches. It's just got so many components. It's like 48 components on the car. This car is not complete, obviously. Is it for sale? Uh, this one's for sale. It will be complete in uh, probably about three or four days. It's just going through its final stages. It'll have its Q QC check and then it'll be ready for sale. So there you go. So G63 AMG brand new with the full wide trap body kit from Urban wheels, carbon, 
everything. So that's for sale. On this side, we've got an RS Q8, it looks yeah. like. Yeah, RS Q8. No, yeah. it's not an Aurus. No, it's nothing like a Lamborghini Aurus. Don't, I don't want to hear it. I don't want it. Oh, it's half the price. It's half the car. I'll oh. back you up on that. Not the same at all. Okay, so talk to me about this. This is a different colour. What is this? This wrap? So this is a Nosatec Nardo Grey. Um, it was Daytona Grey. We've obviously wrapped it in a Nero Bay. It's just going back together. This will be put back together over the next couple of days and then it'll be finished. You can see, obviously, the true gloss of the Nardo. It, it literally looks like factory paint, so it looks amazing. Right, Simon, talk to me about this. Everyone goes on about this, this vehicle. They call it like the James Bond Defender. Yeah, so this is as near as you can get to a film replica car. So basically, this, this, um, this car was used in a Spectre film a few years ago. Um, since it came out, there's a lot of manufacturers that bought out all of the identical parts, the, the rope, the arches, the lights, the roll cage, the winch and people wanted basically film cars, yeah? Guys wanted to drive around London, round Knightsbridge, pretending they're James Bond, basically. Um, we've done about six or seven cars now. This is one that we've just got back in to sell for a customer. You know, it's, it's probably a three or four week build because it gets stripped down to nothing, sprayed black, everything's done. It looks great though, it looks cool. Yeah, it looks cool, I mean. I bet it's really uncomfortable to drive. Absolutely terrible, because you wouldn't want to go on a long journey in it. But it's a kudos car, everyone looks at it so much more than, you know, you can jump out of a Ferrari, no one looks, you jump out of this and everyone's like, ah, around the car. So yeah, the Heritage fans, it's a cult following. Yeah, that's why they didn't accept the new one, which is obviously, it's starting to, to filter through. Yeah. People are starting to accept it more now. We've done a few modifications. So this one looks crazy and when it's finished, looks unreal. You've got one inside. Yeah, yeah, if we look indoors, we're, we're building another one for a customer now, so that you can see it in its original state. It's like bare. So if you want to know what the other one looks like, there she is. Looks very, very different to the one we saw outside. So obviously everyone knows Urban for Range Rover. Yeah. And um, this is what, an SVR exposed carbon. It's got the full kit, the wheels. Talk to me, what is this kit? So this, is, this was actually the first kit that we did ourselves, the first kit that we manufactured in-house. So this is our V2 kit for the Range Rover Sport or SVR, same kit for both. Oh really? Yeah, full carbon fiber bumpers. Um, obviously this one's got the fully exposed bonnet, the grill. Everything here is carbon, even when you see it painted in body color. So we expose some parts, we also paint some parts in body color to obviously make it look right. We do offer uh, an option here as well where we expose the center so you get the full stripe all the way down the middle, which has been quite popular as well. And you've got a few of these. You've got like, there's, there's two behind me, there's two, there's five just in this yeah, run there's, here. There's five for sale at the moment. There was seven last week, but two went at the weekend. So yeah, it's, this is probably, I mean, I wouldn't say it's our bread and butter because it's an expensive um, SUV, but it is one of our more popular, stable, you know, cars that we sell. I know, I've had a few. I've had, I've had a few urbans over the years, especially the SVRs. Okay, so <laughs> you've got the Urban Defender now. 2020 Defender. People love this, people hate this. I personally actually have grown to really, really like it. Just tell people at home, what is this for people that haven't actually seen one before? The, the car is obviously the 2020 Defender. What we've done is we've done a full colour coding programme, so front end, arches, lower seals. It's, it's really, really extensive. There's a lot of parts to come off the car. We've got our new WX2 wheels, which are a staggered offset wheel. They sit on the arches, sit perfect um, to give the car a nice wide stance. You've got our quad pod, which is our new roof light pod, which has got four high power laser lights for like country lanes for lighting everything up. You've got a new rear spoiler, new wheel cover, and also our new shallow side steps, which are an all black side step, which is a twin step to get into both doors of the car. So it's, we've obviously just started our program. We've got five or six elements now. We're continuing to work on it. We've got top vents, side vents. We've got um, bigger, wider, rugged arches. So we're gonna run a, like a wide track program, like our G-Wagon for the car as well. I mean, it, it's, it's an affordable version of you know that sort of ilk of car you know when you say affordable how much is this car how much is this car this car's for sale so yeah so this is 66995 it's it's a, a mid to entry level defender with obviously all of our bits on and the work that's done so i mean it is affordable for some people i don't think 67000 pound and take this the right way 
is a lot of money. It seems a lot of car for the money. That's right, yeah. I what mean, were the older defenders back in the day were like 20, 30? 20, 30 grand, yeah. But it's a lot more of a car. That's right, yeah. It's updated technology. It's a different look. I love the color code. People don't like black plastic all over the car. When you color code, I think it just transforms the vehicle. Um, and obviously he brands everything <laughs> like we do. Yeah. And you've got you've got three here. Yeah, so we've got three. We've got a Gondwana stone, which is a new colour, and also Pangea green. So we've got a little bit of a selection for sale at the moment. And different looks as well. We've gone for like a city city sort of slick look with the with the, the, the roof line. And then we've also gone for a like a roof rack like mountain style pack. So you've got you know, two different customers that appear. I like the box on the side of the car. Sandwich box. Is that a sandwich box? Well, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> okay, that's a big sandwich to go on the side. You know what, actually, I'm standing, I'm just looking around. I'm gonna try and actually relate it back for you guys at home so you can actually experience what it is like here because I don't think this, this, this video um, would have given it away. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna shoot a full video with Simon um, coming very, very soon to you guys. So make sure you look out for that. But for now, I'm gonna say thank you to Simon. No problem, uh, as always. And we're gonna head back to Yanomai's to see what's going on there. Wait, done? Yep. Bit, later. Yo, yo. <laughs> Don't tell me you was trying to leave without saying Let hello it. or goodbye at least. So hold on, are we, are we shaking? I don't know, man. The problem it's is, I get battered. I've got battered, I'll be like a, like do a, do a do air one. It's usually, it's usually like a big kiss of the colour, wouldn't it? Yeah, usually. usually. Obviously, that? Lenny, you can't come to Urban and not see Lenny. Um, you cool? Good man, that's why you see me, I'm busy, it's good. Busy, he's selling cars. I trying remember, to. I trying remember when to. Lenny used to drive a uh, Volkswagen Insignia 2 litre, 16 valve. SRI, SRI, SRI. Super Legera, double XL edition. Yeah, back in the day. Waking up at four in the morning. Driving into London, but we, we keep evolving, don't we? We move on. He's we moved on, <laughs> he's, he's moved on all right. Yeah, he's gone from, yeah, yeah. From, we won't say here, he's gone from about here to here. Not with height, obviously. No, but maybe here. <laughs> oh, well, let's not, let's not talk about winter, coat, winter, coat. winter coat. So this week we filmed a video with this mobile phone and I gave one away. See that video tomorrow, 6 p.m. UK time. I'm just gonna show you what cars have turned up that are brand new and next week I'll give you a progress report of all the other cars that have been here. So let's have a look. So up first we have this Bentley GT. We wrapped this previously in satin grey. We're now gonna put Nero wheels on it. The customer has the Aurus, has the Porsche that we've previously shown you on other videos. Um, so that's a real cool car. So we've got a brand new G63 AMG that has just arrived. It's actually left-hand drive. I've got a couple of people that are gonna come and see this and probably buy it. So we're not actually gonna do anything to it, but it is for sale. In the new workshop, we've got this Range Rover Velar that was wrapped in matte military green. It's actually been on there for three years now. The guys are stripping it, putting it back to gloss black, as you can see. Um, and the customer, I think, is gonna sell it and buy something new. But Terry's on it, Eamon. So yeah, let's get it finished. Let me just, let me just, um, just something. So this is Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Okay, so Daniel's from New Zealand and he has different words for different items. So if I said to him, a vest, you'd say? A singlet. A what? <laughs> a singlet. A singlet. Okay, if I said to pepper? Uh, capsicum. Uh, what? Cap no one, no one knows. Cap Capsicum. Capsicum. <laughs> mm. yeah. Okay, anyway, that's Daniel. If you know what those mean, obviously you know what they mean because I've told you, but if you've heard them before, let me know. Thanks, Daniel. Cheers. Straight over my head. We've also got this BMW X4 M competition that is in for a full wrap, previous customer, and yeah, I did have one of these. I might even still have one of these. But anyway, that's the customers. So that's the end of this week at Yanomai. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, look out for the video tomorrow at 6 p.m. UK time, and I'll see you soon. Take care.